Then the Lord said to Moses, Leave this place, you and the people you brought up out of Egypt, and people you brought up out of Egypt, and go up into the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I will send an angel before you and drive out the Canaanites, Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. Go up to the land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go with you because you are a stiff-necked people and I might destroy you on the way. Well, after the Israelites heard that, all of a sudden, it's like reality sets in, like boom. He's not coming with us. We won't have God's presence. What are we going to do now? What do, you know, it's, what are we going to do? They were exasperated and they began to mourn and they began to strip off their ornaments because they were so devastated. Reality set in. They weren't going to have God's presence with them. So what, what do they need to do? Well, Moses decides that, um, you know, they need help, of course, and the Israelites ask him to intercede on their behalf. And that's what, when choices we make, um, they made a choice, we make choices. And choices we make, you know, do they lead us closer to God in his presence or do they lead us further away from his presence? And that's what the Israelites had to evaluate in that moment. They wanted to make the choice to go back to God in his presence. So um, what Moses did is he interceded on behalf of the Israelites and he went before God. You see, Moses had favor with God. He was a friend of God and he had taken time to build a close relationship with him in his presence and so Moses goes before God and intercedes and you know what God does he dispenses grace that day and because we'll read here in over in verse 12 Moses said to the Lord you have been telling me lead these people but you have not let me know whom you will send with me you have said I know you by name and you have found favor with me if you are pleased with me, teach me your way so I may know you, continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. The door was open for renewal. And that's what we're looking at in our series is renewal. And this week's renewal in God's presence. So once again, the Israelites realized that because of the grace that was dispensed to them, just like the grace we have when God forgives us of our sins and we have begin that relationship with Christ, that door was open and now they could once again have divine direction. They could be taught in Him. They could find rest and they could be open to a radical transformation within their heart and their life. So my challenge this week is, is to seek God's presence for a radical transformation in your life. We are in our ongoing 21 day prayer and fasting. And my challenge for you is, will you seek God's presence until a radical transformation takes place within your heart.